Sports Radio welcomes you to Back Your Play with Q. Live from the studios of Longport Media, here is your host, Rich Quinones. Live inside the friendly confines of the AM 1490 Sports Radio Studios. I'm your host as always, Rich Quinones. We'll take up to 6 o'clock straight up. Two hours to play with on the 7th of September 2021. Tyler on the other side of glass producing the show, keeping us on the air. As always, don't forget the 609-445-1490. That'll get you involved in two-way sports talk, bring something to the table. Hope everyone enjoyed their uh, Labor Day extended weekend, the holiday and whatnot, and you guys were able to get out a little bit and try to enjoy uh, what was, you know, hit or miss weather, which is typically at this time of year. It's always a uh, hit or miss type of um, uh, last couple days in August as uh, it moves into September. But with that, we are, what, about four days away from the start of the NFL season, which you guys got to be pumped and fired up about that. You had a uh, pretty interesting weekend in college football, saw a couple upsets, saw a couple of uh, games that were a little wild, which, again, we expect that. But the big picture is that if you are a fan of the NFC East, if you're a Cowboys or a Washington fan or Giants fan or Philadelphia Eagles fan, uh, and they're displaced fans all over this market, then you know Thursday night, all eyes are going to be glued to the set when the Dallas uh, Cowboys take on the defending Super Bowl champs led by the ageless one, Tom Brady, and the Tampa Bay Bucks. And already, already, you're starting to see some of these lines move. Now, I will tell you this. That game Thursday night... Now, all of a sudden, the line has been pushed to eight. It was seven and a half. Now it's pushed to eight. Over and under is still 51 and a half. I'm looking around the NFL. And with a team like the Philadelphia Eagles, new quarterback for all intents and purposes, rookie head coach, going on the road against an Atlanta team that's going to be motivated after their debacle of a season in 2020. I'm not going to go the contrarian route and tell you that this Philadelphia Eagles team is good. I'm not even going to tell you that this Philadelphia Eagles team can win six or seven games. Now, we'll do the predictions on Thursday, but we'll kind of start to plant the seeds a little bit. Johnny Mack in about 15 football in the 20s. Lloyd Vance, 5'10", Vance's view. Nothing jumps out at me when I look at this Eagles team. Nothing screams at me this team can win some football games. Nothing jumps off the page and lets me honestly and objectively believe that this team can be a 6, 7, 8 win type of uh, club. I'm not seeing it. I'm just not. And I know people think, well, you go into Atlanta. You beat the Atlanta Falcons. There's something. Sure. Maybe they do. But then you have four or five games coming up that are going to be brutally hard games. I, I, I still don't have a feel for this NFC East. I think a lot of pressure will be on Jalen Hurts if you're an Eagles fan. I do believe that. I think he'll accept the challenge. He'll try to rise to the occasion. But there's a lot of pressure on a young quarterback that it's the worst kept secret in the NFL. Even the Philly brass doesn't believe him. So now you've got that bullseye on your back. You've got that mark on your back, right? And you can sit here and say, well, here you go. It's the Jalen Hurts era will begin in Atlanta on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to finish with him. And I said this last week, and I'll say it again. 
I can foresee a scenario, and now with Gardner Miss you signed, forget about Flacco. But I can see a scenario where Jalen Hurts, if he struggles four or five games into the season, Nick Sirianni's a rookie head coach. He doesn't want else to pile up. You can see a scenario where this young kid's going to get benched. Look, think about this, right? Think about some of the quarterbacks that have gone through and passed by in Philadelphia. Think about how we moved along. You went from Jaworski to Cunningham. Then all of a sudden from Cunningham, you had kind of a mixed bag. And then eventually you went to McNabb. Then you went to Carson Wentz. And you also had a mixed bag in between that. And you had a bunch of different coaches. You had the Andy Reeds. You had the Kotites. You had the Buddy Ryans. You had the Doug Petersons. You had the Chip Kellys. Now you have the Nick Sirianni. I mean, Chip Kelly had to throw on Nick Foles, Michael Vick, Mark Sanchez, Sam Bradford. Think about that for a moment. I know as much as people want to sit here and say, come on, Rich, you got to give Jalen Hurts the benefit of the doubt. I, I, that's, not, it, that's not about giving someone the benefit of the doubt. It's not. I like the fact that you got a, a young kid that wants to go out there and play and give you a little bit of that wow factor. I, I, I enjoy that. But if you think about this, if you go back even five years ago, Carson Wentz was the clear-cut starter. They were going to ride it out with him. Now, he had some injuries, and you had a, a jettison in a couple players here and there. Remember, Doug Peterson went over to Sam Bradford and basically said, if you play your game, you don't have to worry about looking over your shoulders. And then, boom, what happens? Quarterback goes down in Minnesota. The Vikings trade for Bradford. And that's pretty much it. And then Wentz is under the helm for a couple of seasons. I don't feel that way. I don't get that sense with Jalen Hurts. I don't. They paid a substantial amount of money for Joe Flacco to back him up. They make a trade for Gardner Minshew, who's a lot more accomplished in this league than, say, Jalen Hurts. And I'll have to double check. I believe he's still on his rookie contract. He's only 24-25. So if you want this, well, Jalen Hurts is our guy. No, he's getting a shot, an opportunity. He's getting a chance. But this is not a let's go out in a courtship and then three, four, five months down the road I propose and now all of a sudden I want a commitment. Not even remotely close to what the Eagles are giving him. They're not. They're giving him an opportunity, a shot, a chance. And it's, it's a fascinating story. It really, it, it will unfold, and it'll be extremely fascinating to watch. Because, look, if you've got a young group of guys out there that are willing to run through that brick wall, we don't know what Sirianni's going to bring to the table just yet. But if you got players that are willing to just run through that brick wall to go out there and do what they need to do and win at all costs and then rally behind a young quarterback, you got a little wiggle room. There's a little more margin of error. But you're asking someone to come in, limited reps, limited snaps, and just like that, hit the ground running with a rookie head coach on the road to open up a season where you're already three-point dogs, where you'll probably be about three-and-a-half-point dogs. Two out of the first three games on the road. Three out of the first five on the road. That's a tough spot for any young quarterback. And I think right away it's going to be commonplace. The talk's going to be, well, how short is the leash on Jalen Hurts? How much wiggle room? If Jalen Hurts struggles and this team is 0-3 and he has a 8 of 18 for 86 yards and two pick type of game against, uh, who would that be, against the Cowboys, he might sit. So for everyone thinking that this team, I mean, I've heard people say this Eagles team is going to win 10 games. And if you, you believe that, I've got some swamp land I can sell you in Florida. I don't see it happening. 
Now, am I going to sit here, too, and bang the drum about the NFC East and say it's competitive division, it's back? No, because all these teams have question marks. Washington's defense should carry them, but you know eventually Fitz is going to have that, oh, my God, are you kidding me, pick? Dallas Cowboys are banking for Prescott coming back 100% healthy, and the Giants still have issues with that offensive line and their quarterback and Daniel Jones. So from, from that standpoint, the NFC East will be very fascinating to watch. There's appeal there, especially with these quarterbacks. You always get a sense before the season starts in the NFL. Every fan, everyone gets giddy. They get excited. They get juiced. They're ready to go. But, man, you know within four or five weeks if your team's going to be a contender. And then typically, if you're kind of borderline and you get hot at the right time, it's all about getting healthy and getting right at the, uh, at the right time in, in, in football and going on that run. But the first four or five games of the season, they're going to tell you a lot about this Philadelphia Eagles team, and rightfully so. And the same could be said, and the same could hold true for the rest of that division. For the rest of that division. So you've got to look at the Cowboys first on Thursday. Then you will get a look at the Philadelphia Eagles and Washington at 1 o'clock, Sunday respectively. Then you turn around and you'll get an opportunity to look at the New York Giants. Opening up the season against the Denver Broncos. Which I don't know if that'll be the uh national game at 425 i would assume fox is probably going to go green bay and new orleans that's just my thought and then you get chicago and you get the Rams sunday night football so that's just my thought on where they're going to go window wise but like I said, I don't know what you guys are feeling about this Eagles team. I'm not feeling overly confident about this team, and maybe that's a good thing. 609-445-1490. You can always tweet at us at Rich Q on Q. Don't forget to follow along at 1490 Sports Bet. Busy show, Johnny Mack in about five on football in the 20s. Lloyd Vance in the 5 o'clock hour as well. Vance's view. We'll go around the league with him. But we'll go Eagles heavy, NFC's talk on the other side with Johnny Mack. Keep it locked in on a Tuesday edition of Back Your Play. Coming at you live inside the friendly confines of the AM 1490 Sports Betting Radio Studios on this 7th of September 2021. A couple days away from NFL kickoff 2021.